concept of steady state diffusion of the component A through the non diffusing component B and steady state equimolar counter diffusion of the component A into the component B. So let's begin. So today we are going to study steady state diffusion of A through non diffusing B and steady state equimolar counter diffusion in the case of only gases so we know our general governing equation so we know that Na is equal to N times Xa plus Je let's call this the equation number one we can write this equation as Na is equal to Na plus Nb times Xa and J is negative DAB Dava C A by Dava Z. Let's call this the equation two, and we are considering this is only in one direction, and that is in Z direction. So we can rewrite this equation as Na is equal to Na plus N B, and now we know that X A is equal to C A by C. So this X A can be written as C A by C minus D A B times dCA by dz so we can write this equation as Na minus Na plus Nb times Ca by C is equal to negative dAB dCA by dz plus it and we are considering this is only in one direction and that is in our z direction so we can rewrite this equation as Na negative Na plus Nb times CA by C is equal to negative DAB DCA by DZ and now if we multiply both sides of this equation by C so multiplying both sides by C so we get NA minus NA plus NB times CA by C whole multiplied by C is equal to minus DAB times C times DCA by DZ and we are, uh, we are considering this equation only for binary mixture keep in mind this is only for binary mixture and now if we can read this equation we can write that Na minus Na plus NB times CA by C all multiplied by C divided by DCA which will be equal to negative DAB C divided by DZ and now we can write this equation as DCA divided by Na minus Na plus NB times CA by C multiplied by C which will be equal to DZ upon DAB times C and now we can write this equation as if we open this bracket so we get DCA divided by Na minus Na times CA by C minus NB times CA by C multiplied by C which will be equal to here it is negative so negative DZ upon DAB times C and if we multiply this C inside this bracket, so we'll get DCA divided by C times Na minus NaCA minus NBCA, which is equal to negative DZ upon DAB times C. And now if we take CA common from these two terms, so we get DCA divided by C times Na minus CA times Na plus NB which is equal to negative dz upon dab times c 
so let me check whether our equation is correct okay it's correct and now we are gonna transfer this negative sign here so we get negative dca divided by c times na negative c inside the bracket na plus nb which is equal to dz upon db times c and now we are gonna bring this equation in the form of integration of f dash x upon f of x which will be equal to log of f of x so if you write this equation as 1 upon so if you write this equation as 1 upon na plus nb inside the bracket na plus nb times negative dca divided by c times na negative ca inside the bracket na plus nb which is equal to dz divided by dab times c and now if we integrate this equation so integrating this equation from ca1 to ca2 and this is from 0 to z so we get 1 upon na plus nb times ln of c times na minus ca na plus nb and which is equal to z upon dab times c so this is from our limit ca1 to ca2 so we can write this equation as 1 upon na plus nb times ln of c times na minus ca2 times na plus nb over c times na minus c1 times na plus nb and which is equal to z by dab times c and now we can rewrite this equation as so we came up with this equation we came up with 1 upon na plus nb set the bracket ln of c times na minus c2 times na plus nb over c times na minus c1 times na plus nb which is equal to z by dab times c and now what we are going to do is if we take na plus nb and c as common from this equation so we get 1 upon na plus nb set the bracket ln of na upon na plus nb minus c2 by c over so this will be na upon na plus nb minus c1 by c which is equal to z upon dab times c and now if you multiply this equation both side of this equation by na so multiplying both sides by na and we can write this equation for na so we get na upon na plus nb times dab times c divided by z which will be equal to ln of na upon na plus nb minus ca2 by c over na upon na plus nb minus ca1 by c and this will be equal to na and now we came up with this general equation and we want to ap apply this general equation for the special case so our first special case is steady state diffusion of a through non diffusing b and this is for gases so in this case we have na upon na plus nb which will be equal to 1 because if we consider an example of 
NH3 plus air and we can absorb this NH3 by making the use of water where NH3 is considered as component A and air is considered as component B and when we absorb this ammonia in water so here NB is considered as 0 so if NB is 0 so Na upon Na plus NB which will be equal to 1 so if we put this value in this equation we get Na is equal to DABC over Z and this will be ln of 1 minus CA2 by C over 1 minus CA1 by C so this can be written as Na is equal to DAB over C divided by Z into ln of 1 minus YA2 over 1 minus YA1 and now we know that according to the ideal gas law P is equal to CRT so we can write this equation as Na is equal to DAB over C can be written as total pressure divided by RTZ into ln of 1 minus now we know that YA2 can be written as PA2 by P PA2 bar by B where PA2 bar is the partial pressure so this can be written as PA2 bar over 1 minus PA1 bar and now we can write this equation as Na is equal to DAB times P divided by RTZ into ln of 1 minus PA2 bar is PB2 bar over 1 minus PA1 bar is PB1 bar and now if you multiply and divide this equation by PA1 bar minus PA2 bar so Na is equal to DAB P upon RTZ into ln of PB2 over PB1 bar into PA1 bar minus PA2 bar divided by PA1 bar minus PA2 bar so we can write this equation as so we came up with this equation we came up with Na is equal to DAB times the total pressure divided by RTZ times ln of PB2 bar over PB1 bar times PA1 bar minus PA2 bar divided by PA1 bar minus PA2 bar we came up with this equation and now we know that our 1 minus PA2 bar is equal to PB2 bar and 1 minus PA1 bar is equal to PB1 bar so if we find PB2 bar minus PB1 bar which will be equal to 1 minus PA2 bar minus 1 plus PA1 bar so this positive negative will get cancelled and we are left with PA1 bar minus PA2 bar so that means PB2 bar minus PB1 bar is equal to PA1 bar minus PA2 bar and if we substitute this value in this equation so we'll get Na is equal to DAB times the total pressure divided by RTZ into PA1 bar minus PA2 bar over so this is PB2 bar minus PB1 bar and if we rearrange then we'll get this PBM where PBM is log mean partial pressure difference so we came up with this equation of steady state diffusion of A through non diffusing B and this was for the gases now if we come to our case number 2 so our case number 2 was equimolar counter diffusion at steady state and this is for gases so we know uh, the, uh, the governing equation was Na is equal to N times XA plus JA so this we can write it as Na is equal to Na plus NB times XA 
and negative DAB DCA by DZ so in the case of equimolar counter diffusion so we have NA is equal to negative NB and if we put this equation in this equation so we get this term will become zero so NA will be equal to negative DAB DCA by DZ and now in the case of the gases we can write this equation as NA is equal to negative DAB we know that P is equal to CRT so PA can be written as CA times RT so this DCA can be written as DPA over RT over DZ so NA is equal to negative DAB over RT times the change in the partial pressure divided by the change in the, di uh, the distance z and now if we integrate this equation so we can rewrite this equation as dz is equal to negative dab over na times rt times dpa so integrating this equation from 0 to z dz is equal to negative dab over na times rt integration from pa1 bar to PA2 bar times DPA so we can write this equation as Z is equal to negative DAB over RT NA and this can be written as PA2 bar minus PA1 bar and if we multiply this negative sign inside this bracket so we get Z is equal to DAB over RG times NA and this will be PA1 bar minus PA2 bar where PA1 bar and PA2 bar are the partial pressures so if we rewrite this equation for NA so NA will be equal to DAB over RTZ times PA1 bar minus PA2 bar 